Hey guys, Rush here with a new video. Today I'll be showing you my compact uh, vertical uh, piston extender. It's pretty compact. I mean, uh, for a triple piston extender, I think it's pretty pretty compact. So, uh, as you can see there, uh, flips the lever, goes out uh, very smoothly, flip it back in, and closes very smoothly. If you were to draw, to draw an, an actual input to this, what you would need to do is actually um, put a torch right here and then have redstone down here which would connect to whatever so um, it is expandable as you can see right over here all you have to do is add more rows down on bottom and uh, more repeaters so uh, it's it's pretty cool still contains its original dimensions um, flat completely flat on the other side and gives a nice walkway on the other side so let's get started on how you actually make this okay I'm back and let's get started on how you make this so your input is right here uh, from right here you're going to actually what we're gonna do first is we're going to actually um, make our pistons so do as many rows as you want I'll just do two for now uh, you're gonna want to place two pistons up like this two torches down like that and then blocks above these torches you can add other pistons on top here but we're not gonna worry about um, these ones just yet. Uh, basically what we're making here is a double piston extender because it's a uh, triple piston extender is basically a larger double piston extender. So two repeaters right out there with wires out like that. Um, you're gonna want a piston actually yeah want a piston right here adjacent to that repeater right there. Uh, block right there you're gonna want a repeater right here, here, here. You're gonna want two there though. No actually I'm wrong, you want to right there, and I'll just cover this up for now. Um, on this one right here, though, you're going to want um, want that right there, because our input will be right here. So, just another uh, thing like that, and then there's your torch right there, or, or not a torch, but lever, and then just wire it up through here. Now for tick adjustments, you're going to want these at 4 right here. You're going to want this at 3, and then keep that one at 1. And if I did this correctly, you can see we just made a double piston extender. Okay, now we want to wire up these top pistons right here. So to do that, you just want to put two blocks here with torches right here. And then add blocks right there. And that was a lag win. Um, oh, whatever. So, um... What we want to do is we're going to have block right here, two blocks right here, and then we're going to want uh, glowstone right there, and you'll see why in a bit. But have another block here, and you're going to want to add wiring through here, and you're going to want to wire up these two torches right there. Um, as I say in all my videos, I use uh, orange wool to indicate something of more importance than just gray wool to as normal blocks and uh, the green wool as input so uh, put your two repeaters right there and then wire right there into the orange blocks right here uh, next what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want a repeater right there set to four ticks stack two blocks up and piston like that okay so this is what we have so far we have our three pistons uh, like this and if we were to run it at this point, uh, this also needs to be at one tick, this repeater right here. But if we run this, you can see these pistons right here get stuck. And we don't want that. And uh, by the way, to reset these, what you have to do is you have to make sure these torches are on right there. Then you have to remove all the pistons. It's kind of annoying, but... And then you have to replace them like that. Add in the pistons right there. But to prevent those pistons from getting stuck, what we do is we add two repeaters right here. One set to f uh, four ticks, and I believe one set to... Um, actually, sorry about that. You're going to want two repeaters here, though. And you're going to want one repeater right there that's set to one tick. Two blocks right there with piston right here. And then wire right here with a block right there and then just have it feed into there. So now what we've made is, if I do this, uh, these pistons don't get stuck anymore. But um, 
if we were to bring it back up, you can see now these pistons are getting stuck right there. To, so to prevent that, what you're going to need to do is have uh, set these repeaters here to 4 and 3 ticks. You're going to want to block right there and right there and redstone right there. And then I believe at this state you can just do that and then it will reset itself, which works out pretty nice. But then, as you can see right there, it reset in perfectly and uh, it's extending it out perfectly. But when we um, when we want to reset all these pistons, it's not taking these blocks up here. But there's an easy fix for that, and we make something called a falling edge trigger. So to do that, you're going to want to block under the glowstone with um, torch. You're going to want two repeaters here set to two ticks and a block over the torch. Piston. Uh, can't. Okay, there we go. Um, block right there with um, block right there, two blocks right here. Then you're going to want redstone under this orange block I have here and going on like this. So now we want to come out like this, place a block right there because um, actually going to place a block right here and then piston right there because we want this to cut off this connection. So these pistons right here will go up. Um, out like that, then retract back in to grab those blocks. So to finish wiring this up, you're going to take line from here, and you're going to put two repeaters at one and two ticks, I believe. I think it's two. Let's test it out. So goes out, and it's I'm right. Two ticks it is. So uh, there, you just made uh, my compact um, triple piston extender. Uh, again, to expand it, all you need to do is add your more repeaters redstone. And then to reset it, once again, you have to remove these two pistons and then replace them. And then test it out. And you just expanded it out. Another nice thing about this design is you don't have to have blocks on top of those pistons, I believe, because it works fine like that. But I have another uh, circuit, if you want to place sand on top of this, that will also work. That's a lot more compact than this. So uh, you just um, made a triple piston extender. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe. I'll see you guys later.